last video we talked about numbers. There we have learned about integers, floats and complex numbers. To use numbers responsibly we need to know the rules of arithmetic which involves addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. And while doing this operation sometimes you might end up with getting values like infinity or none. None means not a number. Also you might end up getting some indeterminate forms like infinity by infinity or infinity minus infinity. Not only that you might have to calculate the fractional sum in terms of fraction itself instead of getting a floating point result. To know how to handle these things in python watch till the end. So first we need to understand the narrow and wider concept. For example to convert an integer to float you just need to put point zero at the end. Or the second way is to pass the variable in float constructor and it will convert the integer into float. You can convert all integer into float but not the other way round. If you try to convert an integer into float you will end up getting a different result. This means that integer are narrower than float or we can say floats are wider than integer. Similarly if you want to convert the float into complex then you just need to add 0j to the floating point value or the second way is to pass the value into the complex function that we have seen in the last video. You can convert any float to complex but not the vice versa. It means that the floats are narrower than complex or complex are wider than floats. Now to perform arithmetic operation we will create a variable for int float and complex. Since floats are wider than int if we add x and y the result will be of type float. Even if we subtract float from integer again the result will be a float. If you perform multiplication operation on two integers the result will be integer itself and if you divide complex number by floating point number the result is going to be complex number as we know that complex numbers are wider than floats. In python if you divide an integer by some integer the answer is going to be a float. Even if the remainder is 0 the answer will still a float. If you want to know the remainder after performing division operation you have to use modulo operator. And if you want to know the quotient then you have to use the double division symbol. Sometimes you may need to perform exponentiation which means a number raised to the power some other number. To do such kind of task python has a double star symbol. Here it means 2 to the power 5. Same thing you can do using pow function. Then what is the difference? The difference is computation time. To check First we will import the time module, then we will set the start timer, then we will compute the value of 2 to the power 50 using double star symbol. After that we will record the end time. Now we will print the time taken for the entire operation by subtracting the start time from end time along with the result. Now we will do the same operation using pow function. You can see the result. Pow function is efficient as it takes less time than double star symbol. So remember that if you are working with larger numbers then you should use pow function. Now we will work with infinity and nuns. Sometimes you may need to create or test for floating point values of infinity, negative infinity or none. Python has no special syntax to represent these special floating point values. But they can be created using float constructor. For example, we will pass inf as a string inside the float constructor and in the similar way to create negative infinity just add negative sign at the front of the string and for none pass none as the string in float constructor. So now we have infinity negative infinity and none. To test the presence of these values we will use some methods from our math module. So first we will import the math module then we will use is inf to check if the value is infinity or not. Similarly we have is nan function to check if the value is none or not. Now we will perform some arithmetic operations with infinite values. So 
you know if we add some finite value to infinite the result is going to be inf infinite itself same for multiplication as well and if we divide some finite values with infinite we will get zero however certain operations are undefined and will result in none result for example if we divide infinity by infinity we will get none because that is an indeterminate form same way if we subtract infinity from infinity which is again an indeterminate form will result in none and if you add something to none or divide none by some number you will end up getting none itself now we will talk about fractions suppose you have entered a time machine and suddenly find yourself working on elementary level homework problem involving fractions or perhaps you are writing a code to make calculation involving measurements made in your workshop well for this purpose we will use fraction module of python by importing it then we will create two fraction values by passing the numerator and the denominator as the argument in the fraction constructor after that we will print the sum of two fractions see we get the results in fraction not in float you can check for the multiplication as well and if you store the result in some variable then you can access the both the numerator and denominator by using numerator and denominator properties now if you check for c variable then it is a fraction of 35 and 64 by using the fraction module you can also convert a float value into a fraction by using a method called as integer ratio in the fraction constructor we will use this method on our x variable inside the fraction constructor now we will check for y see this is the fraction of 15 and 4 for our floating value 3.75 that's all for this video if you face any problem in code or want to ask something then post your questions in comment section below our next video will be on conditional statements in python so if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet then do subscribe it and hit the bell icon and if you feel my videos are informative for you then hit the like button as well.